Okay, today we'll be opening up this used Toyota oil filter, number 90915-YZZF1. And I got this used Toyota oil filter from a very generous viewer whose name is Eric from Pitts Grove, New Jersey. Thanks, Eric. This filter was in service for 4,300 miles and came off of Eric's 2007 Toyota Camry. Yep, the one with the 2.4 liter, four-cylinder engine. He now has a total of 204,333 miles on his vehicle. He was using STP 0W20 oil during this period. Let's open up this Toyota oil filter and see how it held up. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a really good silicone. Be nice and tight. Get your end of here. So trace it. Okay, so before we open this filter up, let's take a quick look at it. Got a date code here, KFZC21. This is all printed on. Made in Thailand. And this filter has eight inlet holes, metal core with holes, bypass valve down below, about four grooves there for threads, and a nitro rubber gasket. Which, uh, I'll take that off right now. Well, I'll leave it on for a second because I want to take the weight of this filter. This is the used one because I got a new one here. 253.3 grams. And this is an unused one. Same filter. 194.5 grams. So a little bit lighter. Put this to the side. And yeah, it's nitro rubber. Uh, it's like an O ring style gasket. Fits on there pretty nice. They got a nice groove here. So put that to the side. And, uh,. Let's open this filter up. Not much oil. Okay. Put that to the side. Any drain back valve? Oh, looks good. I'll have to clean it up to see how it looks like, but it looks good. That covers up the holes nice. Filter element. I'll count the pleats. I'll put them up on the screen. This must be where the seam is, right there. Yeah, it looks nice. Nothing out of the ordinary here. And get these see-through plastic little end caps. And unfortunately, I don't have no no micron rating or what this is made out of. As well, the Toyota filters can't find any info on them. Bypass valve. Yeah, it looks good. The oil, I see a little bit of soot in there. Quite a bit of soot, actually. See it all? Yeah, it looks a little sooty. But the color of the oil looks looks nice. Well, he's got a lot of miles on this engine, so on his vehicle. I'll have I'll have this like this afterwards to see how that all looks. But it's probably gonna leave a little soot all over the place. Let's get some measurements. I think these are usually about 0.4, yeah, 0.48 millimeters, 0 0.47, 0 0.48. They're pretty good sized cans. And the filter element, the oily here. 2.84 inches wide. All right, so let me cut this open. Squeeze it out, stretch it out, and see what it looks like compared to the new one. We'll cut the new one open also. Oops, there it goes. <laughs> uh, we'll cut this one open, we'll compare the filter elements uh, under a microscope. Filter itself, so uh, be right back. Okay, so here's both filters stretched out. 
and the use filter is actually an inch and a half longer than the new one. Is that 52 inches? Well, 15 and a half inches. The new one has uh, two less pleats. Now let's get the thickness on these filter medias. Let's start with the new one. 1.04 millimeters thick. And the used one, 0 0.80 millimeters thick. And yeah, they seem to get a little thinner after they're used because I think because I squeeze them out. But here's the filtering side, back side. And the, the used one here, you'll see some. Uh, particles in there that it caught some carbon and soot but there's also some light spots and you'll see that on the on the new filter too so let's take a look at that picture okay so looking at the microscope picture you can see that the used one caught some uh some soot and you can see light spots in this, even in the new one here, the unused one. Now let's take a closer look at this filter. So you can see the soot on there. There's actually one sparkly right over there. Let's see the soot on here. Carbon. Yeah, right there. I mean, I didn't take a microscope picture or something like that because it would just be all black. But the part that I did take the was right here somewhere in here I took a picture but yeah you can see a lot of soot there a couple of sparklies there's one over there And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. Okay, so here we got the gaskets, the new one on the right, the used one on the left. And I'll put the measurements up on the screen. And, um, you know, they get a little squished when they're, they get used, but this gasket looks fine. Bypass valve, the same thing, they're fine. Holes, they're nice smooth holes. And you got the cans. You can see this one here, it's got a lot of soot in it. It's actually kind of uh, it's kind of gritty too. It feels gritty. Yep. But he's got a lot of miles on his engine. So what do you guys think about this Toyota filter? And again, I want to thank Eric for sending me these two Toyota oil filters. And I also want to mention Eric has a YouTube channel called Tech Time with Eric. I'll put a link down below. He has computer related info on his channel. So with that being said, I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. Magnetic or not? Nope. Nope. Nope.